you want to turn even more, just like on profile to me. Look at that belly. All right, guys. It's 30 days till we have a baby. That's right, three, zero days till we have a baby. There's just been two of us this whole time, as you know, and it's about to be three. We're getting a little nervous, but we're kind of feeling prepared. So I thought it'd be cool if we filmed the next 30 days, which would just be Hannah and I trying to figure out what the heck's going on and enjoying our last moments together and preparing for this child to enter our lives. And yeah, let's take you through the next 30 days see what's up i don't know what's going to happen but you'll get a little picture into our lives of how we kind of navigate how we prepare and yeah i'm excited anyway to start it off let's check in with what hannah's doing this morning what are we up to what are you up to <laughs> There's a it. wonderful way to relax this broad ligament oh, and bring more balance to the part of the body above the pelvis. Every part of the Is world, every region, midwives have devised ways to jiggle others. Oh, this helps can I do this loosen you? the mm -hmm. structures into relaxation. I need to get a it loosens out. the involuntary muscles. So this is... I'm just watching a video about spinning babies, making sure that the baby's in the optimal position for like the best and easy labor. All right. I like the uh, stretching a little bit. He's back away from the ball a little bit more. I think I could nap like this. There we go. First, we're going to make a hammock for the baby. A hammock. Michelle, can you help me to put this under your tummy? Polo and a goatee? Nope. All right, I'm gonna let you take care of that. Babe, this is what you're gonna do. Yeah? This hammock mm -hmm. for the baby is a substitute to the broad ligament. Now, Michelle, I'm gonna hammock. stand really close Isn't it a hammock? <laughs> this hammock. So cool. I'm gonna make a coffee while this happens. I think the baby's on the right, like on the proper side. I think he's leaning more on the left side, which is what she's saying. Is yeah, well, when we saw it on the scan last, it's butt was on the left. Key ingredient, super creamer. Day rolls on, Hannah gets into work. What do we got today? We're doing a Look little Look at this photo. hair. A la, a la Nikki. A la Nikki, I feel like I'm in a shout out. Doing a little photo shoot for hair food. Yep, Mr. Ben Rosser behind the camera. Things you're trying to accomplish before baby. Huh? Okay, while Nikki's here, since she's Hannah's trusted hair person, we asked, what should Hannah's hair look like for the birthing process? Well, we were trying to come up with an answer and then you, you left. I ran away. You ran away. Ran away. But we came up with some nice curls, just something natural and pure and pretty. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah like I think if my hair looked like this, days <laughs> leading into labor, then like... Hannah's yeah, like, let me get full on glam. Well, because even if I like, even if I sweat or whatever, because the curls are so pretty... You think it's gonna look like this? No, no, no. But I'm saying like, if my hair got properly curled uh -huh. a, a couple stay. days before... It would stay? Well, the curls would just be no, like, like natural curl. Oh, like a big, blow in, like a big, or no, your natural curl. Yeah. Yeah, but like if we, if you properly curl, like define the curls on my head. Mm -hmm. And then a couple days leading into labor, then you go through labor, you sweat. It doesn't, it doesn't mess up what you've already like judged. Absolutely. And then you can like 
put your hair up and it would still look really cute. I could give you a head massage and you'd still feel good. fine? Yes, you could touch my, you could give me a scalp massage, although the scalp is probably the last place you'll be giving me a massage <laughs> when I'm in labor. Tell me more. I sent you an acupressure. I already read it this morning. PDF, you saw it? I know all my points. Do you? Nikki, what should I do with this hair Well, for labor? It's not about you, but Oh, it's not about me. <laughs> right, that was a fair answer, by the way. Well done, well done. Just gonna go back, just gonna go back to eating my little lunch then by myself over here. Today is not about me. Maybe you can wear like a headband. A headband? Like Axl Rose? I'm about business. Yeah, I'll get it embroidered. So like, world's best husband during the birthing process, no? Okay. Okay, 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 one second. Nikki has just found green hair in Hannah's head. I mean, you can really see this on this camera. So whoever the last dude was, what are these called? They're not called extensions. They're no, called- they are. Oh, extensions, yes. <laughs> Learning the terms. But he might have dyed the blonde hair black, and now you look like you got like a cool punk side to you underneath. Yeah, that's why it's not like- Yeah, great. badass. I mean, I did have my head shaved. <laughs> With a tat. But the green is a new look. I think our baby's gonna like your green hair. No, no, no. Just eating sandwiches. Hannah's hard at work. All right, Hannah crushed the hair food shoot. I, on the other hand, did this pretty great bulgari shoot for a men's cologne called Glacial. I was pretty excited about the photos. And then I just got this email. They just said they're not outdoorsy enough or nature enough, not airy enough. That was my attempt at it. I thought that looked pretty naturey, but they said too beachy. So that one will never see the light of day. We're gonna take another one, but first, we're gonna get some more Hannah pregnancy content. Right, hands? Right. <laughs> ben is still here. He was shooting the previous campaign. He offered graciously to do some pregnancy photos of both of us. And as all men know, this isn't our time. It's not about us. We already did our job, now we're here for support. But I'm excited I'm gonna get to be in a picture or two with my beautiful pregnant wife. But first we're getting some shots of her. We've set up a sheet in the forest. Looking good? Yep. Yep. Okay. There it is, the backdrop. Do you want to turn even more, just like on uh, profile to me and just kind of be in there? Yeah, amazing. Look at that belly. It's for the memories, you know? Important to capture the moments, make them an iconic part of your life, a time of your life. See what they're looking like? Wow. These are beautiful hands. Really? Yeah, stunning. These are incredible. So good, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. Coming to an Instagram near you. Shot has been got. The shot has been got. That's it, had to get one more beach shot in. Well done, guys, well done. Ben, thank you. Thank you, guys. Hannah, curtsy. Hey. And you know to fake an outdoor wilderness shot. And use these old trusty rocks because they didn't want me at the beach. So now I'm on a mountain. How about that? Oh, sorry. Don't, don't mind me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there, right there. <laughs> she said, when people ask how many weeks I am, now I simply say, I'm at the point where if I drop something on the floor, it's dead to me. <laughs> Alright, day one of 30. 30 more days, hands. We think. Could be more, could be less. But 30 days from our due date, exactly. It's true. Baby, you look so comfortable. I'm pretty comfortable. This is what you call a full lounge kit. Blue salt. Blue salt, whoever sent this to me. It's amazing, but this shirt for the win. Vouchy. Vouchy. And my favorite harem pants. <laughs> Show us the harm pants. Yep, that is your status. 
You love these things. They're like just the most comfortable pants. It's like you're smoking hookah in some other country. <laughs> anyway, we're winding down with some Formula One F1. There's also a show there that says, call the midwife. Fitting, it's like they read our minds. But <sighs> that's one of our days. You got 29 more of them. We're with you. You're with us, whole time. Your hands are so cold. You know, I'm just trying to keep you cool out here. All right.